Hi and welcome to another Vengeance Producer Suite Avenger product video. Um, I want to show you in this video the Arpeggiator module, which we already have selected here on its default setting. And uh, yeah, basically that's the Arpeggio module from our previous product Phalanx, but there are some improvements. Um, but first let me show the basics. Of course you can with right click uh, delete nodes or you can place nodes with left click and if you click on a node and hold you can set the length and the, the squares here represent the octaves. Let me... And of course you also can do semitone steps. gray area behind the bars is the velocity. You can just click and hold and draw it very easy. So what else do we have? We have of course the shuffle factor. also uh, the octave range and of course the speed which also can be dotted speeds or triplets. We have the length here it can be expanded up to uh, 32 steps or minimize to two steps. Um, you can turn it on or off. In the routing here you can set which arpeggiator. You can have up to eight. That's uh, unique. You can have up to eight oscillator modules here, which all work independently from each other. So you can really, really make complex stuff. Um, the gate time here defines the node length. I have more punchy or steppy uh, short notes. Um, we have here the key range where the ARP should work. For example, for sequence sounds, I always set it to B1. This means the ARP goes up to here and here you can play with an, an lead sound or pad at the same time. But I will show this in the uh, key zone video later. Uh, so now let's reset it to maximum. Velocity defines um, which note sets the overall velocity level. The first note you play, oh, let me before, yeah. Or the last note you play. When I now press another key, which is harder, velocity will rise. Or when I, when I now press a softer key, the last pressed key defines the velocity. Or each note ha have uh, has their own velocity, or the lowest note. These are the options you have here. Okay, what else do we have? The mode, I, I showed it, not yet, default settings. So this is an ordinary arpeggiator. So this is the up mode. It moves the chord you play, uh, you play here. Mo is moving all the notes upwards. 
Ganze ist zu down. Oh, alternating. That is the first note I like this more. Order is uh, the order you play them on the keyboard on random. Place them randomly. The special is the poly mode, which works like that uh, you can still play chords and they are played back polyphony in the rhythmic pattern, which is here selected, and the velocity, of course. So, what's new? Um, furthermore, this you can shift the whole pattern. Uh, with one click, that's great if you have multiple patterns here, which I show now. So let's set them to so the default. You can also shift nodes left and right, of course. And um, which, which, what the, the new thing is here is you have four patterns for each up. So we are still in up one. And we have A, B, C, and D patterns, which all can work independently. And you can shift the playback by automation, or you can playback in order. You can then, uh, if you just click here on the play button. <laughs> And you can see A, B, C, and D is played back. Um, there's also co also copy and paste, of course. So here are new multi-pattern presets. Let's show them. work with multiple patterns but apart from that you also have your classic arpeggiators and there we have very very much presets you can spend the whole day trying them out and um, yeah also for drums if you like so like I said, each OSC can have its own arpeggiator. We can quickly show this too. Or let's show this with a uh, sequence we can load. For example, uh, what can we choose? The Funk Town City, for example. You can see Arp1 is playing back the chords. with A and B patterns. Then we have uh, the bass line, which is playing arpeggiator two. On all four patterns. Then we have uh, the lead sound, which does not play any arp. The high string is playing back this arp. Ah, we have to activate it. And then finally we have the marimba. Yeah, so... I think that's all for the arpeggiator. In the next video, I will show you the step sequencer. See you. Bye. <laughs>